Okay, so today I went to in and out and the woman gave me a receipt and my guest number was 42 so I used that as a ticket to go on a hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy journey then I came back home and I died. That was pretty random wasn't it? Well that's the block we're going to be discussing ironically so let's go to the data section right here. Let's get this cute little dice and this is the random block. And let's just expand this data hub right here. Let's go to the interface. So we realize that just like the range block, we do have a range and we do have these sliders that we can manipulate around and there's a minimal value and there's a maximum value. The minimal value and the maximum value is not restricted to zero and a hundred. It can I, I believe it can go negative. Yeah, it can go it can, it can go to negative and it goes to some gargantuan number that I have to still look up, which I haven't yet. But you guys can if you guys want to. Okay, so basically what's going to happen here is it's going to randomly pick any number between 25 and 75. So this number right here, any number output over here can be um, 0, negative, um, 21, uh, 71, 60, 54, 42, anything. Anything between these two values, oh, and it's between these two values, it can be selected and it can be taken out of there. Um, let's, let's. Let's do a real quick example real quickly and I believe this one's gonna be a bit fun because we're gonna be making a little dice program so yeah yeah let's pick a dice program let's make a robot um, display on the screen the numbers one through six on the screen let's do that okay so we're gonna have our little number okay let's just let's just do this Let's make it wait and uh, actually buttons just follow along with me. I'm gonna make it bumped. Um get this random block. I'm gonna set it to one and six since those are the minimal and maximum values. So whoa, I do not want that number. Blech. Okay, one through six. So Basically, what's going to happen so far is, so whenever I bump the sensor, which I'm going to explain why it's bumped later, it's going to choose a random number between 1 and 6. And I am going to display it as a text. And I did use this example before, so I'm assuming you guys are following with me. And X two buttons, and I'm gonna make this bump. Okay, so let's look at what we have here. So when I bump the NXT um middle orange button, it's gonna pick a random value between one to six, as I've done here. I'm going to convert the values because I did show you guys before and I'm going to insert it to the text value and since this is going to be a one digit number I don't know I just want to be a bit tidy get the question mark kind of drag it around put it right in the center and then make it bumped all right that's that's really simple isn't it it's just getting the random block picking the range here's the value that's going to be output it and then you can use that value however you want I don't know Make like a little gambling game on your NXT, I guess. It's like, hey, pick a number. Oh, you missed the number. You don't get any money. Ha ha ha. Okay. I'm going to discuss real quickly why I picked bumped. Well, basically what I wanted was, okay, I pushed the button and then it shows me the number. And then I wanted to bump it again just so it can clear it. Okay, here we go. And then when I bump it again, it's going to clear it. Well, what if I... What if if this was pressed and this was also selected to press the robot is really good at detecting things so if I held the button it's gonna be detecting the it's gonna be detecting that the button is pressed like millions of times just by holding it down one second so in order to make precise menus I have to bump it so right after I bump it it can't just proceed through this and just blitz through this immediately so I have to bump it Make sure this happens, and then I gotta bump it again so it can reset. I hope you guys understand that concept, and probably when I do program dissections, I'll be going over that as well. Well, that'll be the random vlog for today, which was extremely random like my story at the beginning.
Hope you guys get the reference. And feel free to um leave any comments or any feedback of any sort. If I missed anything, if you want to give me suggestions of any sort, um just feel free to do that and subscribe at your own risk. And thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.